Welcome back everyone to my let's play of Dragon Warrior 4 from the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's time. It's time for Cosmo to join the scene. There was a small, nameless village deep in the mountains far east of Endor. The villagers lived quietly. They never left the village or let outsiders enter. Only the villagers were supposed to know of the village's existence, but... Uh oh, that but. It's done. Cosmo, my dear child, take this to your lunch to your father at the pond. He's fishing. Greet everyone you pass, okay? Deliver the lunch, then you can have yours, okay? Well, you just walk around, talk with everybody. This is the entrance of the village. I got the center so no strangers can enter. Cosmo, do you want to go outside? Nah. It's not the right time. Yeah, let's say we do want to go outside. Let's see what he says if we say we do. You're not ready to go out yet. You must be much stronger. Then why give us the option if you're not going to let us out? Hi, Cosmo, taking a walk. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? A poet wandered into this village last night. Against village rules, I let him in. I hope it won't cause trouble. Uh-oh. I was lost in the mountains and found this village. Oh, no, there's a mountain. There's a village deep in these mountains. Oh, this is going to spell some trouble. Cosmo, today I'll teach you how to cast a spell called Zap. Too bad we ain't gonna learn that. You look hungry, I'll teach you after lunch. Zap's a very powerful spell, but we won't learn that till late in the game. Good morning, Cosmo. It feels good to rest like this. Cosmo, I hope we're friends forever. Ha, funk. Cosmo, you mustn't always guard yourself. Master your swordsmanship is harder than it appears. Understand? And there's our father there. We're gonna just skip him for now to go down this little, uh, area here. And if we go to the uh, upper left uh, pot, we can search that and get a medical herb. Cosmo comes equipped with a sword, leather armor, and a hat, and a, uh, basic clothes and a hat. He doesn't have a shield though, even though his sprite has a shield here. So Let's give our lunch to our father here. You brought me lunch, Cosmo. Cosmo, you're already 17 years old, entering adulthood. Listen, Cosmo, you must always be righteous and strong, whatever happens. So once we finish talking with everybody, including our father, we head back and we can talk with our mother to get our lunch. And that's when things are gonna go bad. Thank you, do you want your lunch? Nah. Okay, why don't you go and play outside? Not you can really do outside. So we just say we want lunch, and then, uh-oh. Monsters finally found this village, they'll be here any second. Oh no, Cosmo, flee now, don't worry about me. Follow me. And this is all taking place, you can't control this. We'll stop the monsters, take Cosmo to a safe place. Cosmo, if anything happens to you, I... Hi, hurry, they'll be here soon. Those monsters, they found Cosmo. We only need a little more time to make Cosmo the great hero. This way, Cosmo, come. Yeah, you could learn that zap spell. Cosmo, the time I fear has come. We didn't tell you this before, but we are not your true parents. We want to explain, but we have no time. We must hide you now. Oh no, the monsters are coming. We must fight. Everyone except Cosmo must fight. So well, Cosmo, the monsters seek to end your life. You are a threat to them. Born with the hidden power, you have the potential to become strong enough to destroy any evil being. But you are still weak. Escape and survive. Understand? Should let us do some level grinding. We'll do a little bit of level grinding between episodes. Not much, though. Cosmo, I've enjoyed growing up with you. Don't worry, I won't let them take your life. See the cast transform. You should enjoy exactly the of Cosmo. Goodbye, Cosmo. And she's, uh, that's a spell you can actually learn later on. Uh, the transform spell. And it basically, uh, went character that uh, does it transforms into another one of your characters, so. Hey, it's Necrosaro. He was the guy who was going to win the tournament in uh, Endor, but he didn't, he no-showed the final. And we head out here and the village is ruined. Swamps deal two damage when we step on them, so try to avoid them. If we search where uh, Cecilia was laying down at the beginning, uh, we'll find a feather hat. If you're a female, uh, you can equip that hat, but Cosmo's not a female, but that, uh, but that's okay because, uh, we want to sell that hat for, uh, a better weapon. So, we just, uh, we're gonna barely have an, uh, well, we're gonna be barely short of getting a, a much better weapon. 
you basically only need one battle, so. The uh, counter rate here is really, really low. Uh, so, uh, you're not likely to get into uh, a battle when you're walking down to the south here of this hut, and then uh, down to the castle to the south. When we check this guy's uh, pots, we'll find uh, three different things. A medical herb, leather armor, which we're going to equip right away, and we're going to find a little bit of money. So we're going to put that leather armor on, uh, much better than the basic clothes. Doubles our defense. See if we can't equip that feather hat. Uh, and then we're going to talk with this guy who is kind of gruff. Bow wow. Who are you? Are you a traveler? This is a woodsman's shack. You look so gloomy. I hate gloomy kids. Get off this mountain right away. You can go to the castle. We'll come back and talk with this guy a little bit later. We're going to be visiting him a lot. Uh, when we do a level grinding, but I'll explain it in a little bit. We get to immediately to the south. Here's the castle. And we're going to talk with everybody in here. See what's going down. This is Bronco Castle. This is Web Chop. What would you like to do? If we basically sell that feather hat and then sell our copper sword, we're basically, uh, I'll sell the basic clothes too. You're basically, uh, three gold away from buying the boomerang. So basically that's like one, uh, that's one, uh, one, one battle. Uh, you could sell us the, uh, copper sword for, uh, 58, I believe. We're traveling to the world to beat the monsters. You want to join our party? And so it's like... Uh, 58, uh, yeah, so it thinks maybe only, uh, like, 8 gold from, but yeah, it's really close, so. so there's a party of, uh, wandering heroes, notice there's four of them. I heard the monsters destroy the heroes to save the world. Don't worry, we'll just beat the monsters. We have nothing to fear. So four's gonna be the, the limit of our party. But, uh, there, there was, like, seven other people that we adventured with. Well, uh, the party can be kind of split. You can only have four active members. Uh, in your party at a time, but the other ones will be riding around the wagon, and we'll get that wagon a little bit later. But first, you gotta get our own allies, like these uh, party members said. It's pretty neat to have like a fighter, a cleric, a dancer, like uh, Mara, and then a merchant like Taloon. Thanks to the cave Taloon made, now we can go to Endo in the far west. And he was just talking about Taloon. And the cave is not far, it's to the southwest. Very close walk. Poor Taloon. Because this cave opened a pathway between the countries, the monsters are after him. And he's after that uh, Zenithian sword. Trying to become the greatest arms merchant. Our king is upstairs. Well, we'll go visit him, but let's talk to some of these people first. They'll mention uh, some of our old characters. One, two, la la la. How'd you like our dance? We're imitating the moves of that famous dancer in Endor. She told me she was searching uh, for the hero with her younger sister, and that was Mara, Mara the dancer, and her younger sister, Nara, the fortune teller. And this guy's gonna talk about Nara. I hear a famous fortune teller staying in Endor. I went to consult her. Endor's the uh, place where Ch Nara and uh, Mara ended up in the last chapter. They ended their thing. And Endor's really close by, so. Yep, we're going to be recruiting Nara and Mara. They're our first two party members. You recruit everybody in reverse order. So we'll get uh, Nara, Mara, then we'll get uh, Taloon, then we'll get uh, Bray, Alina, Christo, and then the last character we get is Ragnar. Welcome, so you're traveling to save the world too. Your name is Cosmo. What good name? I'll tell you what you must do. Prevent the resurrection of the rule of evil at any cost. Cosmo, oh, I wish you luck. I hear the Princess of Endor and the Prince of Balmalmo are getting married. I'm so jealous. Yeah, we knew about that from uh, Chapter 3. Taloon helped uh, make that possible. Once a celestial maiden came down to the heart of the Northern Mountains, she fell in love with a young woodsman, and they had a baby. Where's that baby now? Oh, it's just a fairy tale. Hmm, a lone woodsman? I wonder if that's that woodsman that we were talking about, that gruff guy. To the north of the castle. Well, we'll learn a little bit more about him in just a little bit. Uh, come back in because there's a uh, few people we didn't talk with on the left side of the building uh, place here. So eventually we're going to want to buy a wooden hat and a scale shield. Uh, but we're going to get the boomerang first because the boomerang boss is pretty much one shot most of the enemies outside. Uh, the enemies are kind of the weak enemies that we first ran into uh, basically in uh, 
Ragnar's chapter and Alina's chapter. Let's hope as a healer, heroes to defeat the rule of evil was destroyed. Uh, the only answer that can kind of give you some trouble is uh, you can run into battles. They can poison you. Uh, and the other enemy is at night time, you can run into uh, those blaze ghosts. And they can hurt you really bad with two blaze spells. They can probably finish you off, and they can sometimes split when you hit them. Uh, we ran into them in uh, Lena's chapter. So basically, if you run into uh, blaze ghosts, what I would do is just cast the expel spell on them. You won't get any experience in gold for them, but you'll take them out of the battle. So, okay, so you've got some weak enemies here. Uh, who luckily give us just enough gold to end up buying that, uh, the boomerang. So we get something, get eight gold. Now you can just go back into the, uh, castle, sell our copper sword, and that'll give us just enough money to buy the boomerang. And then we're going to, uh, step outside, uh, wait until nighttime, we'll do a little bit of level grinding. Uh, but the uh, encounter rate is really, really low around here. So, uh, you're probably not gonna, you know, get a level real quick. Although it doesn't take you much to get a level, because you're level 1. But I just grinded, I just waited until night. Didn't gain a level, but I fought a few enemies. And I just wanted to fight until, uh, night so we could see what the different people say at night. There's a legend in this country. Alright, that guy, uh, says the same thing he did in the morning. Or during the day. That guy is sleeping. But some people have some new dialogue. Uh, the king, uh, like most kings, is unavailable at night. You see that guy walking over to the, from the left. He has two different pieces of dialogue. One, he'll stop, and when you talk with him, when he stops, he has uh, his second dialogue. When you talk with him while he's walking, he has a, a different dialogue. So let's uh, grab him while he's walking over here. Walking at night feels so good. And this guy says the king's asleep, so yeah, we can't see the king. And we can't go around the back there, because that instantly when you step up there, an old man stands by the pond every night. It's creepy. Uh, if you go through that little hole uh, in the trees there, it takes you back outside the village, so you can't sneak around go the back way uh, where that lady was, uh, and up those steps to go see the king. This guy's not moving, which is immediately sleeping. Uh, sometimes you have, like, sprites that do move when they're sleeping, so... Well, uh, hey, that lady said that, that kid said the old man sits by the pond, so let's uh, talk with the man. Whenever I see the moon's reflection on this water, I remember this. Long ago, a woodsman family lived in the northern woods. The son met a beautiful girl in the woods and fell in love with her. One day, he was struck by lightning and died. His father, still a woodsman, lives alone in the mountains. So that guy up there is actually our grandfather. So even though he's really gruff, uh, we basically deduce that he's our grandfather, and yeah, he could be a little, uh, rough, uh, but uh, he's a nice guy, because, uh, I mean, he let us have all that stuff in his uh, house, didn't say anything when he took it, and he actually lets you stay there for free, so you basically can save some money, you don't have to worry about spending night at the time at the inn, by just going to uh, the woodsman up here. The dog comes and greets you, bow, wow, wow, guess maybe it smells, uh, similar scent to, uh, the son, your father. It's you again. Stay here to tonight if you want. And you automatically stay. Are you going to sleep forever? Get out of here. So, we're going to stay just a little bit around here. I think I'm rude, but I have a soft heart. Oh, man, I get lost. We're going to gain, uh, basically up to, uh, level, uh, gain, gain, uh, about four, three levels, gain to level four. Uh, just running around here and fighting. Uh, ain't gonna take too, too long, even with the low encounter rate, maybe about 15 minutes. Uh, you wanna just grind around the castle here. Uh, if you go too far to the east, you start running into enemies that, like, you ran into at the, uh, end of, uh, Marinara's chapter, uh, the last chapter, uh, and they're way too strong for Cosmo right now. Uh, Cosmo only has, uh, you know, limited equipment, limited spells. The only spell he has right now is the, uh, Expel spell. And like I said, you want to save your limited MP for uh, if you find blaze ghosts at night. But I'll catch you back here in the next episode. Thanks for following along. It's finally good to have time. If you haven't caught it yet, check out Cosmo's video. Bye.